modules, what are templates, what are directives, data bindings, services, dependency injections, and routing. These are the building blocks of Angular. So, so this is an architecture of the Angular. So this is the most popular thing. So if you can say basically what we will be creating is the components we will be creating a number of components small small components we will be creating and each component will be having a template okay so the component will be having a template in html and the component will be in ts like that we can also have a css file so each component will be having typescript file then HTML file, front end, and CSS file or CSS file. So if we want to connect our component to template, so data binding we say, then we can use property binding. From if we want to send any data, any value like name equal to nil kind, okay, that we want to show on the template, then we can use a property binding functionality okay this property binding how it is done i'll be explaining in the later part in the same way if we want something from the template to get uh, triggered in the component then we use event binding such as on click so these are the events on click uh, the functionality it will get uh, hitted in this component and it will run the logic okay so then and metadata some extra information to this com component so then we have a directives these are uh, mostly used so these uh, can be used uh, directives can be used to change on the dom directly on making changes on the dom which is like changing the background of an text so directly we can uh, call the call the uh, directive like uh, color change okay color change and uh, then we can add a text and uh, closing the color text so whatever the logic is written in these directives like background in keeping red color so that will be applied directly on the dom okay some metadata and then we are having the services services this is very important question in the interview so if you know the logic how angular works then it will be very easy to crack an interview so what are services services hey what we do there are some uh, common functionalities like services are mostly used to call the apis okay so we are not calling anything from this component so like data and all those things get post and all those uh, methods http protocols method what we say all this http client and all everything will be injected in this service okay it won't be import uh, imported in component so service will be calling the http and uh, get http post anything if you want to post to the server or everything whatever the server it will be interacting with this service so this service we will be injecting in the component with the help of injector so we will also talk about dependency injection i'll show you how dependency injection works and all those things so module component module service module value so this property binding so from component to template we use property binding from template to by template to component we use event binding and there is one more property called ng model it's used for two-way binding so whenever there is a, some change in a template it will automatically get reflected in the component and whenever anything is with change in the component it will automatically get it change in the template so that's a two-way binding okay so i hope you have cleared this architecture this architecture is very important if you want to understand and crack an angular interview okay so these are the component i had explained what is component what is data binding what is dependency injection you can read these things uh, i had already explained you what is data binding so we have two way binding and 
template and template binding with um, component and template how is um, getting bind data bind dependency injection you can read this okay you can pause and you can read this very big so this is an injector so um, i told you about dependency injection so there will be a many services okay we will be creating a number of services so this service we need to inject in components so that we can call the uh, methods of that service like get data post data get users and all those things okay so in the component we will be initializing services okay so that's injecting from the service to component and next video i'll be creating something how uh, we are creating a service and how we are injecting that's a later part i'll show you that project also okay so this thing directives metadata modules routing services templates you can read this thing. So very important this is go and modules ng modules routing is responsible for sending from one uh, route to another route services uh, and templates okay you can pause and 